Yo guys, today we're gonna be taking a look at the nerf that happened to Halrigal in the recent patch. It's got its recoil increased by 14.3%. The difference is pretty significant. We will see if it's still worth using or not. Truth be told, the gun is not as good as it used to be before the patching, but it's still very good gun compared to the other ones. If you're using the Halrigal to play between a short and medium range, you will be just fine. The only difference that is significant is between the medium and long range, because the gun starts to kick more and it's harder to burst fire with it and be accurate. However, you can reduce it by simply crouching while shooting. It will not make the gun beast again, but it will still improve the accuracy stats overall. Best playstyle to be effective with the Hellrigal is something like semi-offensive, and what I mean by semi-offensive is not to engage too much in the front line and by front line I mean this very very front line with the shotguns and automaticos because you will 100% lose Enemy every fight 1v1 between experienced player with automatico or shotgun. What you should aim for is actually playstyle that will allow you to cover up the whole area with the header group because the magazine is so big you can easily take out 3 or 4 enemies before reloading. Just remember to keep the distance between you and the enemies between like 10 to 30 meters because that range is the most effective for the Hellrigal and you will be just wrecking everyone. It's also good to have some teammate running support class because trust me you will run out of ammo very quick. Overall the gun is still great and you don't really have any other option to go for, because there is nothing compared to Halrigal for an Assault class. However, I don't think that DICE's decisions are good at the moment, with the ideas for balancing the game. Personally, I think they should reconsider everything they do, because instead of nerfing the good guns, I think we should start with buffing the bad ones and then slowly start the balancing process. Right now, we got Hellrigal nerfed and I do not think that the gun was even good after the previous patch. Because after the release, for me it was fine, it's only got 120 bullets together, so it is not that much. You will shoot those bullets out in like matters of second and you will be out of ammo, so I think it was well balanced with the ammo capacity and the stats. As for now, I don't know if it will really be worth using long term. If they buff some of the support weapons, I think that everyone will just leave playing Assault because of that. Remember, this is not me whining about the game having no content, but it's, it's true. Like, there is no other weapon to choose from for the Assault. We have MP18, which is so bad that barely anyone uses it. And I think that only people that use it are actually the ones who haven't unlocked other guns yet. I didn't mention automaticos and shotguns, because those guns, let's be honest, they work up to 20 meters, so if you come across someone with sniper rifle or medic rifle, you'll be dead in a second if you don't have anywhere to hide. Having said that, thank you for watching guys, I don't want this video to be longer because there is really no reason for that. I don't want to make this 10 minutes of talking bullshit about Hellrigal. I've said everything you need to know about it and if you enjoyed, remember to leave a like, subscribe and I see you on the battlefield.